Well, good evening. I'm Bill Snyder, Sports Information Director at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, and welcome to season number six of Bulldog Blitz. A little bit different this week. We're doing a preview show since Isaac kind of uh, messed up everybody's football plans, but we are going to talk football and talk about the 2012 season opener for the Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College Bulldogs. With me, as always, Gulf Coast head coach Steve Campbell entering his ninth season at Gulf Coast. And, Coach, you know, this is the Isaac edition. We were supposed to play Thursday night. Instead, we're playing Saturday at 5. But whatever the case, we improvise, adapt, and overcome. And now that the rain is over with, we're ready to play football. We are. We've had a, a great preseason camp and a uh, real good preparation week leading up to the hurricane. And then, you know, we had a little hiatus there in between the uh, when Isaac first hit, but we were able to get back out on the practice field yesterday and, and uh, had a good day of practice in the rain, got to do some wet ball drill and, and try to prepare us for, for what uh, we think the conditions are going to be up in Clarksdale. So had, had a real good preseason camp and a uh, good preparation. Now, uh, got it interrupted and, and now we got to get back in a, in a football mode after the hurricanes pass. And what's interesting, this isn't your first rodeo or really anybody's as far as uh, storms delaying. We had that happen with Gustav. Of course, it happened with Katrina. So even though it is an inconvenience, it's something you probably subconsciously plan in there as far as part of the game plan, right? It is. You know, when, whenever you live down in South Mississippi or really anywhere along the Gulf Coast, you know that hurricanes are a part of the landscape down here and you got to be able to, to make contingency plans for for those episodes to come up. And this year just happened to be one of those years. You know, in 04, we had a hurricane. In 05, we had a hurricane. And then, you know, we had a couple of years in between where we, where we really didn't have the uh, – you know, the, the, the hurricanes hit. And then uh, this year, be, being another hurricane year, uh, we, we do have some experience with it. So it wasn't something that was completely non-programmed. So, we, we, you know, you go back to uh, some of your experiences with that. And we this year we were able to keep all of our guys together in the dorm. And uh, the cafeteria did a great job of, of, of feeding the guys and uh, re really was able to, to keep them together. And hopefully we were able to, to grow a little closer, get a little bonding in. And, uh, we kind of weathered this storm together. And, you you know, we talk about a football season it is real similar to to weather, and you're, you're going to have you're going to have high points and low points, and and uh, and and this was another deal of adversity that that you know, an adversity gives you a chance to pull closer together, and hopefully, you know, through this hurricane, uh, the team pulled closer together, and and uh, and now we're looking forward to going and playing a game. That's right, and we're going to talk about that game a little bit later in the show. But coming up after the break, we're going to take a look at how the team got to this point, the first day of fall practice, and also the countdown to Cahoma. We'll also have player profiles, take a look at the golf team, and who knows what else. Isaac was kind of a surprise, so we might throw a few surprises in as well. You're watching Bulldog Blitz here on WLOX. We'll be back right after this. At Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, it's like this. High school graduates can take classes close to home that transfer easily to universities. The convenience and flexibility of online classes give students of all ages the opportunity to earn a degree. Apply online and chat live with an admission specialist or visit us on Facebook. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, celebrating academic excellence for 100 years. And welcome back to Bulldog Blitz. Well, it's always interesting to get to this point, the first game of the season. So with that in mind, we're going to go back, take a look at the first fall practice, which was a couple of weeks ago. And we'll also take a look at some of the preseason conditioning the Bulldogs did in the Countdown to Cahoma video. Hey guys, it's day one. Every great journey begins with but a single step. Here's the linebacker. All right. Here's the linebacker. Hey, 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 there you go. Get open. Go. Good, good down, down, down. Ready. Ain't nothing in the gap. Who am I going to? Here's the stack. I'm the first backer. There's the mic. Get easy. Hey, get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Good. Nice. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Don't get back inside. Show. That's it. Right there. That's what it looked like. Okay? Right, here we go. 1-0 right here. Oh, 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 I like it, good. Unless he's taking away the inside of his head up or outside, 
Get inside leverage on the coach. Stay there. Stay back. Stay back. Good job, bro. Just keep moving your feet. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Good feet, my creep, boy. You want to go? Get on me. Get on me. Woo! Good. Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. Good. Wait, hey. Ah, uh, hands inside. Ready. Good. Drive it, drive it. Good. Get up, get up, get up. You I want you to get a running start to him. Ready. Stay inside. Good. There you go. Go, 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 We'll get there. We will get there. Finish on one time, one time, finish! I was serious, I was serious. Yeah! I can't run the That's it, Sellers. That's it, Sprint. Good feet. Quick Sprint. Let's go. Two feet. Three feet. Three feet. Sprint. Good. Good. Finish. 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 There you go, KJ. Change your record. Run. Run. Yeah, run. 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 Get out and run. Turn. Come on, Melissa. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Push yourself, man. Good work today. We got better. Everybody looks, looks like we're getting in better and better shape. But keep pushing yourself. Here we go. One time all in. One time all in. And coach, uh, you know, the drill is always the same. You do preseason conditioning, then you have the first practice, then two weeks in, the season starts. But even though the process is the same, I guess each journey each year is always a little bit different. It right? is. You know, uh, each team is, is different than the year before, especially ne never more so than in junior college. You know, at a four-year school, you've got guys spread out over five classes, including your red shirts. At a two-year school, basically you've got your, your guys spread out over two years, so you, you turn over – more than half of your team each year. We graduated a really large group last year, which is great that we were able to, to have so many guys graduate and move on to four-year universities. But what it did is it opened up a lot of a lot of spots for freshmen this year. And we, we've got a large freshman class this year, but it's a class we're really excited about. A lot of young, hungry uh, players, which uh, there's two parts to that. The hungry part's great. The young part, the only way to not be young is just to get the experience and to play through it. And that's why we're excited about this first game, Looking really looking forward to play. But yes, Bill, each year is different. Each year is, you know, we, we talk to our team about e each year is kind of like a book. And e with each game, you're writing a new chapter. And uh, right now, that book is blank. And we get to write, we get to, the good thing is, we get to decide what's written in that book on Saturday night. And uh, so we're excited about getting out and playing and, and writing a, a, a good book. We're not even into the season. We already have the first Coach Campbell analogy. That's, that's pretty solid. Coming up after the break, we'll have a player profile. As we said, we'll look at our terrific golf team. But heading in, we'll take a look at the scoreboard for this week. Of course, there hasn't been any games due to Isaac, so everybody's playing on Saturday. And that, of course, sponsored by Western Sizzlin' of Wiggins. You're watching Bulldog Blitz here on WLOX. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, it's like this. 
High school graduates can take classes close to home that transfer easily to universities. The convenience and flexibility of online classes give students of all ages the opportunity to earn a degree. Apply online and chat live with an admission specialist or visit us on Facebook. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, celebrating academic excellence for 100 years. And welcome back to Bulldog Blitz. Well, as always, each show we profile some of our sophomore leaders and we'll start out on the offensive line, one of the anchors of the team, sophomore Ramsey Sellers. Coach Campbell really preaches on, you know, doing the small details, doing the small things right. And any position you play, if you pay attention to the small details and you, you know, practice that really hard, then you can play near about anything at any size, you know, just, and it always helps that Coach Campbell always hammers that into us. There's always a lot taller guys think that just because I'm, you know, I'm only 5'10", they think, oh, he's a smaller guy, they're going to walk all over me. And so it's always a big motivation for me to, you know, show them what I got. Quick, quick. Oh, that's it, Big Rims. That's it, Sellers. That's it, Spring. A lot of guys, they come from high schools where it's not as high tempo or, you know, the coaches didn't push them as hard. And then you get here and Coach Campbell and his staff, they push us incredibly hard. So sometimes it's it's a challenge, but then at other times you'd be really surprised to see some freshmen step up and help us out a lot with keeping the tempo up, keeping guys motivated and helping us out a lot with that. Last year coming in as a freshman, I can kind of, Tell them, hey, you know, I've been through the same thing, and I can probably give them examples of stuff that happened to me, and then, you know, maybe they can live and learn from that, you know, so maybe it helped them out. And, Coach, you talk about uh, someone maybe not with the size that you see on the offensive line, but the heart and the talent, the dedication are there as you saw in that profile and those are the guys you got to love having on the team. Yeah, I mean, you, you, if you had a lot of Ramsey Sellers on your football team, you, you really wouldn't be any need for a coach. He is, he's every coach's dream. I mean, he's a great student in the classroom. I mean, he's got over 3.8 GPA. He's going to be an academic, well, he was, already was an academic All-American. Let me put it like this. He's the only guy that's ever made academic All-American as a freshman, which means you have to have 48 or 45 hours completed in one year with over a 3.8. Um, I'm giving a lot of information there. I don't, I don't know if I'm FERPA Act or whatever, but uh, he, he's a he's a great student. Uh, he owns a state powerlifting record uh, for the whole state of Mississippi, uh, and, and a great young man, great football player. So we're we're really excited to have. Uh, Ramsey as a head coach, I'm excited to have Ramsey on and as an offensive line coach. It's a, you know it's a great guy to have in your meeting room every day that you can point to as a great example to to help lead all the guys. So great young man with a great future. And uh, his talents as well as the whole team will be on display tomorrow, five o'clock up in Cahoma as we take on the Cahoma Tigers. Now coming up after the break, we'll head from the gridiron to the golf course and take a look at our fantastic golf team. We'll see that in a few minutes heading into the break the preseason NJCAA Top 10 poll, and that's sponsored by Jack's Home Improvement. As you'll see, the Bulldogs are number four. First game, baby. First game. Go, 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 go,
And welcome back to Bulldog Blitz. Well, you saw a little clip of our Olympian, Brittany Reese, as she won the gold in the long jump back in London this summer. And congratulations to her. Had a big turnout for her. A terrific Gulf Coast alum. And then after that, you saw our Gulf Coast soccer teams. They opened the season with wins over Itawamba. And they're getting cranked up, and we'll have updates on them throughout the 2012 season of Bulldog Blitz. We'll also update our terrific golf team. How good were they last year? Well, we're going to take a look right now with Gulf Coast head coach Tommy Snell. I feel good for the kids, you know, you know, it's all about the kids and for them to play that well and to go undefeated in, in, in MACJC uh, competition. I mean, it was really exciting to watch that, especially coming down the stretch because, you know, we won all five tournaments and then we enter state. So, you know, we're heavily favored to win state and we win and then we go into our region again we're heavily favored you know and that was our fifth NJCAA region 23 championship in a row. I knew we would be successful because you know that's just the way I am. I mean that I don't mean that egotistically or anything I just you know I put my heart and soul into this as everybody knows and when you get good kids you know it's mostly about recruiting when you get good kids like I've been very fortunate to have then, you know, winning a national championship or, or winning five regions in a row, you know, they make it easier. The coach, uh, being an alum of the college, I was on the golf team back in 19... Anyway, I did not hit the ball as well as these guys, but they hit the ball well. They putt well. Tommy brings in great players, and when you see that, it you know it's sort of like when you go recruit good players, good things happen. The same thing there, and uh, it's great watching them play. Yeah, no question. Coach Snell has done a tremendous job. I mean, he's won. You know, we've won X amount of state, I think five state championships and five regional championships in a row. And that's a testament to the, the great talent that he's bringing in and also the job he's doing coaching them. And, and uh, you know, so we've got an outstanding golf program and a great golf tradition that, that Bill Snyder helped set the tone for. So, uh, yeah, the cornerstone, if you will. That's right. That's Maybe right. not. Uh, have you ever been over to the driving range over there? Oh, there yeah. This, yeah. This summer, uh, this summer I would uh, take the Gator over and uh, would – take my son and, and little girl out we, we got to hit some balls over there it's really nice yeah it is so great golf program and we'll be looking at all our athletic programs throughout the 2012 season here on Bulldog Blitz well coming up after the break we'll take one more look at the big game the season opener tomorrow against Cahoma you're watching Bulldog Blitz here on WLOX at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College it's like this High school graduates can take classes close to home that transfer easily to universities. The convenience and flexibility of online classes give students of all ages the opportunity to earn a degree. Apply online and chat live with an admission specialist or visit us on Facebook. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, celebrating academic excellence for 100 years. And welcome back to Bulldog Blitz. Well, it's finally time to play football. As we said earlier in the show, we thought this would be filmed up in Clarksdale after what we hope is a big win over Oklahoma. But instead, Isaac threw in the monkey wrench. So we're playing Saturday tomorrow at 5 p.m. And, of course, we don't even have to talk about the last time we went up there. It was not fun. But uh, this is a new start. As you said, a lot of young guys, I'm sure they're eager to play. So it's kind of like you said earlier, Coach, with, with our team, it's going to be a lot of excitement, but you hope that doesn't translate into those, you know, uh, freshman nerves, that kind of thing. So really kind of unknown, but it's exciting with the talent we have and getting out there playing a game instead of scrimmaging. Yeah, it is. You know, you we've been playing ourselves since back in, in spring training. So we're ready to play somebody else and kind of see where we're at. And you always you, – you, you make your most improvement between the first game and the second game. You always hope you're you're prepared enough to, to, to win your first game. And, uh, you know, the guys have worked extremely hard since, you know, they came in, I believe it was June the 30th this year for, for summer school and, and, you know, worked, you know, through the – through the month of July into August, and, and now it's time to play. So really for the last two months, we've been preparing for this time. We've had a couple of little uh, episodes where we've had to, to, to 
take a hiatus during the hurricane and some things here and there, but the preparation has been good. We're a young football team uh, that really needs to get out and play a game and to kind of see see who's going to step up. Every year you've got you know guys step up. That's the beauty of football across the you know across the board, but more so in junior college than anywhere else because the opportunities to step up are so great in junior college. We're going to have guys step up as well each school throughout the state. Uh, the deal is how many step up. Uh, at what positions do they step up, and then bringing along all the the young guys and the the sophomores that are in that are in new positions. You know, uh, you know, I may have gone from a guy that that got some carries to now I'm the feature guy, or a guy that was one of the guys rotating in. Well, now I'm the the the, the bell cow. Uh, so uh, you have guys, young guys step up and older guys step up, and uh, and that that that's the thing that you know all across the state we'll we'll be able to find out. Uh, a lot about this weekend. We're very excited about our game against a very good Coahoma football team. I mean, they've, they've got their eight out-of-state guys that everybody else gets, and then they've still got their remnants, uh, what's left of all their guys that were grandfathered in from Memphis. Uh, last time we went up there, they had over 30-something out-of-state football players, uh, and they can – Sink, swing that, or was spin it any way they want to spin it, but that they're getting a, the, the pick of a lot of football players, and uh, they're, they've always got a talented group, and and their coaching staff does a real good job of coaching those guys up. So we, we definitely got a challenge in front of us. Yeah, I was looking too. They have like eight or nine guys coming back on defense. Their whole yeah. secondary linebackers are intact. They got a uh, what a. a a huge nose guard in there, yeah. and then uh, a couple of running backs coming back. So they've got some experience, so it's not going to be just uh, going up there and, you know, taking care of business. Uh, you know, every game's going to be a battle. Oh, yeah, no question. Uh, you know, you got to take them one at a time. And uh, the, this game coming up is the most important game of the year because it's the, it's the next game, and it's the only one that we have any control over. So, uh you know, and Coahoma's got a new football team. We've got a new football team. You know, it's kind of like a stock. That what is it? Past performance is not indicative of a future. You got to each day you go out and each game you play, you got to, you got to, you got to play well to win. This is the toughest league in the country. Uh, you look at South Carolina and Vanderbilt last night. Uh, South Carolina's number nine in the country uh, in this fourth quarter before they pull it out against Vandy with a four-point win. Uh, this league is that way. The MACJC. You better play each and every week uh, in order to have a chance to pull out a victory. We've had uh, stock analogies, so that's economics. We had FERPA, which is government, and we also had a book analogy. And this is only our first show. Is it any wonder that Bulldog Plitz, for the third year in a row, was uh, the CPRAM number one show in the state? So congrats, Coach. That's why. I mean, we, we're bringing out stuff that, you know, the average Joe, you know, can relate to. <laughs> All right, Bill. Yeah, I'm feeling like, uh, who is it, Dennis Miller? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Perhaps yeah. a gig on Monday Night Football yeah. could be in the offing, yeah. you know, after we win a state and national championship. No, that's right. So uh, the game, 5 o'clock Saturday, you can listen on 103.1 FM. But the good news is the rest of our games, if all goes well, we will be streaming those, streaming video on our website, mgccbulldogs.com. And you see the new mic flag here, Bulldog Live. That's our new Facebook page. So go there, like us to check out all the information on MGCCC Athletics. But I say, no, don't just like us, love us. Of course, there's no love button there, but hit like as much as you want, and that's cool, too. Of course, we have Twitter and our athletic website. So, for Head Coach Steve Campbell, I'm Bill Snyder. Thanks for watching Bulldog Blitz. Hopefully, we're all drying out from Isaac, and hopefully, we'll see you next week, and we'll be 1-0 as we look forward to the rest of the season. Thanks for watching Bulldog Blitz. Have a great night and a great weekend. Bulldog Blitz, sponsored by Western Sizzlin' of Wiggins, Jack's Home Improvement, Raising Canes, and the Whistle Stop Cafe in Wiggins. Now, a Bulldog Blitz Extra, Chalk Talk, with head coach Steve Campbell. The compliment to the power play uh, is the play action off of it. And, you know, we've had some good receivers over the years, Cole Eric Riley, Tony Burke, C.J. Hawthorne, and, of course, Kelvin Bolden. Uh, Deion Hodges, Akeem Simmons, a lot of guys over the years have gained a lot of passing yardage off of the play action off of this. Eight man front, well they got eight guys playing the run, that leaves them with, with three deep, one, two, three. All right, so that leaves you 
This guy is a linebacker. He's conscious of the run. As soon as he starts seeing that downhill, he likes to step inside. One of our best pass routes is same action. We want to we want to sell the run down. You block this gap. You block this gap. You go block the defensive end, and it's important that they sell the run. Tailback, hit it downhill, just like you're getting the football on the power play, and then you fit up right off the tackle's hip, and you got the linebacker if he runs through. So we're forming a wall right there. Center, you got backside A gap. Guard, backside B gap. Tackle, backside C gap. So we're, we're slide protecting, protecting all the gaps here. We're, really, this is one of the soundest protections in football, a full slide. Uh, it'll protect, you know, we've got five, six, seven. We can pick up the, to seven guys, and if they're a blitz happy team, we'll put a tight end in to be able to pick up the eighth or ninth guy coming off the edge. So this is a, a sound protection. Anytime we get this guy starting to bite in on the run, we'll run our vertical routes where we send him like he's going to block, and then he'll slip right past him, and he executes a comeback route. Now, that puts pressure on this guy. If this guy steps down on the run, we're going to get it to him right now, and let's go. Uh, Kelvin Bolden had a lot of big plays off of that uh, this year. If the strong safety runs with this guy, covers him deep, well, then there's nobody underneath the comeback. This guy, by definition, in a 3D coverage, has got to play the deep third. So there's nobody underneath in that zone, so we'll, we'll hit the comeback. Both those are covered. We execute what we call the outlet on the backside, and uh, that's your check down on the backside. That's been a, a real good combination of run, play action, pass for us over the, the last couple of years. At Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, it's like this. High school graduates can take classes close to home that transfer easily to universities. The convenience and flexibility of online classes give students of all ages the opportunity to earn a degree. Apply online and chat live with an admission specialist or visit us on Facebook. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, celebrating academic excellence for 100 years.